Good morning. Welcome to Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason, and uh, this episode is an introduction to... I need to come up with a better a better uh, title for it, but to uh, the improv bedtime stories. And uh, if if you're if you're looking for the first improv bedtime story, go on immediately to the next uh, the next episode because this is just talking about the philosophy behind it and things like that. Pretty boring. But so as far as history goes, uh, and I alluded to it at the uh, on my inaugural podcast, the I was when I was younger, when I was much younger, my brother who is uh, eight years younger than I. I would tell him bedtime stories when he was a kid, and some of them were uh, heavily influenced by, you know, Star Wars and Star Trek and and, and all the and all the all the fun, you know, movies that we watched, and uh, and some of them I made up on my own, and, uh, and then other times I uh, would ask him what things he wanted in the story, and he would, you know, you know, pick dragons or monsters or spaceships or whatever, and then I would take the elements that he gave me and put them into uh, the story, like there on the spot. And I really enjoyed that. He really enjoyed it. He enjoyed being able to have like some say in the story. And it, uh, and it really ignited his imagination too, because now he would, you know, every night think of things that he wanted to learn about and hear about, and then he would tell that to me, and then he would be able to discover the story that he himself first, first thought of. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that with uh, with my daughter when she arrives here really soon, and uh, and I'm doing it for this podcast. So uh, I have a word generator. Let me find them where that is on my phone. Um, do 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 do. Okay, so it's the Pictionary uh, word generator on uh, randomwordgenerator.com. So they have a Pictionary uh, a Pictionary place, I guess. A Pictionary. Where am I? I'm. I'm word dumping but so they have a uh, a pictionary category that's the word and uh, so you touch a little button and it's like okay ladybug truck and fork okay i'm gonna tell a story about a ladybug a truck and a fork and how they all uh, interact and some of them won't be that good but that's okay again I'm, I'm giving myself permission to struggle and 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 have some fun with this but uh and the stories are going to be between one minute and uh, five minutes long uh and that's done for a couple of reasons. First off is that uh, children always want more bedtime stories. You know, it doesn't matter how long the story is, they'll want another one. So if you keep, if, uh, you know, practice and keep it between one and five minutes, then they can go ahead and, uh, and I want another one and another one and it won't you know, take all night. Um, and the other reason is that a one to five minute story is, is not bad. As soon as you get a ladybug, a truck, and a fork, you can come up with some sort of really quick story about the ladybug, you know, eating with a fork and in a truck cab, you know, and, and you can come up with that and it'll be really silly and it'll be fun. And then quick, go ahead and move on to the next one. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I'll, and with all these stories, uh, I'm going to try and keep and use as a guideline, I should say the seven great stories of literature, which is overcoming the monster rags to riches, the quest, the voyage and return, comedy, tragedy, and rebirth. So uh, tragedy and rebirth aren't going to be uh, big players for these bedtime stories, because uh, quite honestly, I believe the children are too young to, you know, uh, learn about tragedy or you know anything like that. But also with rebirth, they they just got birth, birth. They don't need a rebirth yet. So and and th- those always carry uh, ch- carry. Those will all vary, you know, depending on, on on the child who wants to listen to it. Maybe they love tragedies, you know, and maybe they love the rebirth stories and, you know, the characters changing, you know, and to be a better individual. Like, okay, no, that's good. Um, the element of comedy I try to put into all of them, you know, because uh, these, are, these stories are for young children and laughing is great and part of the... Uh, the purpose for this podcast is to have it be enjoyable, so I want to try and weave that comedy uh, into um, into all the stories. But then the voyage and return, the quest, the rags to witches, and overcoming the monster are all very applicable for uh, children and very imaginative stories, and and they have the uh, they they can all share common tre- uh, common themes, right? The quest, the voyage. And um, overcoming the monster, they all have one protagonist who work with other outside parties to accomplish a goal. In the voyage return, they're trying to go someplace and then they need to get home, right? In the quest, they're looking for an item. 
in the overcoming the monster, they're looking for the monster, and rags to riches are looking for wealth. So there's certain elements that no matter what words we are given, we can kind of fit them into the same into the same structure. You know, at one point it's the rabbit trying to get to the ocean. The other it might be you know an adventurer and she's trying to find the Indiana Jones style cave, or it could be a rabbit in space. You know, looking to find the you know planet sized monster. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of the the, the idea going forward with these. Uh, and we'll see if I'm going to try and be honest with everybody. And my, my part of the contract to you is that, you know, if it's if it's good, as long as it's halfway decent, like I, my intention is to post it and, and have them get better and better over time. I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was Hemingway. I need to look that up. But there is a great saying that, uh, you know, the first draft of anything isn't very good. And uh, and I, as a writer, am very aware that the uh, the first draft or what I call the discovery draft you know, there's it's 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 not very good. It's it's as a uh, um, George Lucas said. There's a lot of they fight in it, right? Uh, so I'm I'm gonna give give myself a little bit of leeway on that, uh, just to go back in and and I do numerous numerous drafts of everything. But this there won't be a chance for numerous drafts for this. So there's gonna be the one. I'll tell the story and then I'm gonna move on and get uh, three new words and not really look back. So I hope you enjoy them, uh, listening to them as much as I enjoy creating them, have a chance to use our imaginations together, uh, have fun, and I will see you on the next episode with the first story.